So this is not the longest game in the world. Midnight Scenes, The Nanny. It's around 40-ish minutes. Oh, it so jumped right in. Oh, okay, shit. I didn't think it was gonna jump right in. Who are you? Hello, I... I spy with my little eye. The eye. Oh, you guys started hype chain. <laughs> On tonight's episode, two innocent children will face their most primal fears, haunted by mystery from beyond the grave. An ancient secret that should never have been unearthed. Tormented souls wandering between realities. Oh. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. Why did the music end? I don't have sound- wait! I don't have sound! <laughs> no! Welcome to another dimension. Welcome to midnight scenes. Dun dun dun! <laughs> okay, we got sound, at least. Okay. Yay! We got sound! Okay, it was maybe the game. Maybe. Holy shit, it was loud. <laughs> there we go. This is a nice game. Oh! Tina. Good morning, my name is John Wilson. Good morning. Wait a second. I am John Wilson. Okay. What are you talking about? You must be a double. A double? Are you crazy? Doubles don't exist. Okay. <laughs> really? Then how do you explain this? Oh no, you're a double ganger. My evil double, aren't you? I feel my childhood. Are you here to kill me and steal my identity? I don't want to die so young. Ah! I love this. <laughs> <gasps> Oliver, are you coming to say goodbye to mom and dad? I'm busy. Uh, they're going away to be away for three days. Won't you miss them? They're going to be away for three days. Won't you miss them? Why should I? They're leaving me alone with you, and that's silly Veronica for three days. I hate them. Oh god. Veronica's nice. I like her. That's because you don't have any personality. Oh, hold on. Choo choo! <laughs> That's because you don't have a person, any personality. What are you playing in a way? Sorry, I still can't believe they bought me another identical Benny. Oh no, for my birthday. What a horror. They don't care about me at all. They don't even remember which toys they already gave me. <laughs> what a horrible life. Uh... Oh, I want one. Can I have one of them? No way. Oh, I don't like you. I'd rather keep playing this stupid double gang thing for the rest of my life. <laughs> Can I move? Oh! Oh, you click to move! Fuck. 
Oh. Sofa. The M and M stain still there. Oh wow. Painting. What in the world? Lamp. I can. Oh. TV. Support your indie devs. Okay, where did I go? Do I want to go upstairs, maybe? Whoa! Dad's office. Dad won't let us go into his office if he's not home. Okay. Window. The Jordan's garden looks like so empty since Thomas got sick. Oh no, poor Thomas! Tina's room. I better not go into Tina's room if I want to stay alive! I agree. Plants. Poor thing, it's dying, the water it. <laughs> Miss Jenkins would send me home if I painted something like that. Oliver's room. Oh, wow. Walkie talkies. I'm eager to try my new walkie talkies. Okay. There's a new starling nest in a big tree. Woo! Poster. Looking forward to the premiere of Galaxy of Cats. Part 2. Yeah. Uh, let's find mom and dad, maybe. This is a tiny house. I like it. Mom, dad. Oh, is that mom? No, that's, that's Veronica. Don't worry. If anything comes up, I'll call you right away. Okay. Have a great trip. The bay is beautiful this time of year. Wish we're going for pleasure, not work. We should go. The plane leaves in three hours. We might hit some traffic. Okay. Bye, kids. Be good and don't push Veronica too hard. Okay, mom. Bye, mom. Bye, dad. Oh. Veronica's coming in. She's almost taller than the ceiling. Or the, the doorway. Well, here we are. Okay. Why did I give her an annoying voice? <laughs> we still have a couple of hours until dinner time. What would you like to do? Do I want- wait, chat. Do you want to paint or watch- the wait, I'm gonna just fucking do a poll. Oh! It looks like paint might be winning. Okay, paint is winning. Okay, let's paint! I like to paint trucks that explode and- Your drawings are boring, you paint like a little baby. Oh my god, Tina! Shh! Don't tell the babysitter! That's not true! Oh. Watch TV then, I guess. Watch TV! <laughs> uh, the amazing Jason Marks is about to start. I love that show! Of course you do! TV is entertainment for dumb kids. Tina, don't talk to your brother like that. It's Christina. <laughs> Only my family calls me Tina. I've taken care of you so many times. Don't you consider my family yet? No, I would not. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Well, Oliver, it looks like your sister is in a mood today. Maybe she wants to tell us what to do. Oh, let's go to the forest. She has a death wish. Okay, let's go to the forest. The forest? On the other side of the lake. It's very pretty. The trees are painted different colors. Mom says they were painted by a prehistoric woman. Wait, they are literally painted? It looks like a big work of art. Can we go please? That way I can look for my toy truck. I lost it in the clearing the other day. Okay, fine. Just for an hour and then we come back. Yay! You pick up the oars. Sure. Wait, the oars? Where's the oars? Oh! Here's the oars. Okay, pick up the oars like a man. There we go. Got him. Oh, that was quick. What is this tree branch? The Jordan's trees are invading our garden. Oh, 
Sparkle hasn't come to eat in days. Poor, poor Sparkle. You have lost Sparkle. Why is nobody concerned about the dog? To peer. Oh, there's my sister. Do either of you know how to row? I've never piloted a boat. Leave it to the professionals. Oh, yeah. Strong girl, Tina. Come on, Tina. But it's safe, right? Don't be afraid. There are mo no monsters in the lake or anything like that. Just sit next to me and take my hand. Ugh. Get in the boat, lovebirds. Ah. Bro, don't spoil my precious woman. We need to install the oars? Are you kidding me? How do I install the oars? All aboard! Oh, that was- okay, I just drag it? Oh! Hello. I think I'll look for my truck. It can't be very far. You're always losing stuff. You'll lose your stupid head one day. Okay, you can go, but don't walk too far away. I don't want to lose sight of you. Okay. Bye! Oh my god, look at this. Toy truck, where are you? To forest! Onwards, let's go. <gasps> what is that? Oh fuck, I'm itching. Oh. Ooh! Did the sound turn spooky? Chocolate bar! People are so inconsiderate. Can I take it? Oh. Drawing. What in the world is this? Hello. Oh. Oliver. Whoa. What the? What is this? Okay. What about you? This is scary. Tree stump. They say if you count the rings, you can read their age. Clem, hello, Croats. What in the world? Bones? Sparkle, is that you? I hope not. Tina, the dog is dead, maybe. There's more drawings. Why is there more drawings? Squirrel! Squirrel is eating a finger. Um, okay. What the hell is going on? Sticks. It's a wooden doll. Mom never lets me play this far from the clearing. My truck must be around here somewhere. I'm clicking all the crows because I want to make sure. Oh, shh. Bone. Shh. <gasps> toy truck! Is that my toy truck? Toy truck. Here you are. Who put you there? Yes, we got our toy truck. Oh my god, that scared me. Hey, Oliver, come here. There's something I want to show you. Tina? Why are you scaring me? Tina? What are you doing here? How did you get here? Wasn't she the other way? Oh no, is this a ghost? Weren't they sitting? So many squirrels in this forest. One time they ate a kid from town from head to toe. Only his bones remained. Oh, I'm not lying. It was on the news. That's creepy. Yeah. By the way, where's your brother? I told him not to walk too far away. 
Don't ask me, I'm not the babysitter. Oh no. Oliver! Oh shit. Oh no! What is that? Oliver! What's wrong? What the hell is that? The forest is full of paintings like that. That says there's this magical aura from the tribes that lived in the woods. It keeps the paintings bright. This one though, I haven't seen it before. It certainly looks recent. Yeah, uh, we're gonna die. So creepy. You didn't paint to scare passerbys, did you? How would I have painted it? It's like 20 feet tall. Yeah. Come on, it's time we go back home. I don't like this place. It gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. Come on, Oliver. Let's go. Oh, no. Oliver? <gasps> oh, my God. A pixel game scared me. Pixel game scared me. <laughs> I didn't think this game would. No! Shit! Hello! What? What's happening? Is he alright? No idea. Come on, help me get him to the boat. I would have called a priest. Oh, here we are. I've broken my neck, apparently. Thank God you're back. How are you feeling? What happened? A blood sugar drop, probably. Here, eat this chocolate. <laughs> it's good! Hazelnut's my favorite. Really? Mine too! Hey, are you sure you're okay? Maybe I should call the doctor. No, call the priest. <laughs> How long was I unconscious? You've been in and out for about 10 minutes. You scared us to death, yeah. And Tina, where is she? In her room, I think. I wonder what she wanted to show me. What do you mean? In the woods. She told me to follow her. I tried, but she walked too fast. Then I found that strange drawing on the rock. It really impressed you, huh? <coughs> I don't know, I guess. Come on, rest while I heat up dinner. The lasagna I bought will surely bring you back to life. Lasagna! Oh my god, I love it. The clock is churning. Minutes are passing by. Oh, oh, we're in my room? What are we doing in my room? Looks like dinner did wonders. I real, I like that happy rosy face. Oh, she's a positive. Now rest, little prince. <laughs> I'm so yes, I will. Don't listen to her. What? Tina, she's always mean, but I think you're cool. Aww. Oh, thank you very much. I think you're cool too. Aww. The boys in love, maybe. I really enjoy taking care of you both, you know. You're very interesting kids, yeah. I can agree with that. Hey, do you want me to show you my collection of cards? Aww. It's from the Midnight Zombie TV series. Sure, I love that. Mwah. <laughs> oh my god! This one is the biggest and scariest zombie of the family, but he is always nice to the living. Next card. Baby zombie. Don't be fooled! Even though it's a baby, this one has super sharp teeth. Okay, let's start. Hungry zombie? This one must be the most evil. She devours brains. Wow. Zombie pet? And this is my favorite. Isn't she cute? Yeah. Adorable. Okay. What a fantastic collection. I love it. Hope you don't dream of brain eating zombies tonight. Get some rest, Oliver. Yeah. Good night. Good night.
Okay, night time! The... Nope. It's the forest again. Oh god. Oh no! Oliver! Oh god! What the hell? Oliver! Hey, Oliver, are you awake? What do you want? Let me sleep! It's Veronica, she's gone. Wait, what? She left us. Wait, what? She's downstairs, I hear the TV. Oh yeah? Why don't you go down and check it out? I'm telling you, I saw her from my window. She was walking toward the pier. She must be meeting her boyfriend secretly when she told... When she should be here taking care of us like the other time. You made it up. <laughs> never, you never liked Veronica. I didn't make it up. That boyfriend of hers jumped over to our garden to be with her. I saw them kissing. Ugh! <laughs> Ew! This time I have my camera. I'll take pictures. Come on, let's see if we can spy on them from the window. Oh god, that scared me. See something? The boat is missing. We've gone to the other side of the lake. How romantic. How? She doesn't know how to steer the boat. More proof that she's with her boyfriend. I can see a light in the forest, but nothing more. Dad has the old binoculars in his office. And you want me to go get them, of course. I have to keep watch in case they come back, Oliver. Come on, they must be on his desk or in a drawer. Or maybe in the closet. <sighs> okay, let's go. I have a toy truck, I'm protected. Wait, can we see the window? Oh, okay. Dad's office. Oh. Dad would be mad if he found out that I've been snooping around in his office. Trophies. Oh. Oh. I wonder if Dad killed someone in the war. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask him when he comes back. Okay, we just stole a key. Hello? Huh? Hello? Oh, who is it? Okay. Veronica, please come back. Why did you leave us? It's locked. I have the key. Shoebox. Photograph. He's from when I was born. Why does my mom have an eye patch? I'm like Veronica, but I miss Marquez. Was super cool nanny. Oh, maybe that is Marquez. I don't know. She had this eye patch. Oh, yeah, that is Marquez. Like Blackbeard. I miss her. She never would have left us. Okay. Here they are. What is this? So squishy. Oh my god. Why does our dad have condoms in the shoebox with the nanny pictures? Bro, <laughs> why does our dad have the condoms in the same box as our baby picture with the babysitter picture? I actually don't want to know. Ugh. So squishy, yeah. Is there anything else? Apparently not. Uh, Tina! Finally! Come on, give me the binoculars. No way I got them, it's my turn to look.
That's creepy. So many crows. <gasps> Wait, what the hell? I see Veronica. She's alone and looks confused. No, she looks like a zombie. Hey, wait! She stole my flashlight! <laughs> Come on, let's go to the pier. Maybe we can see what's going on from there. Okay, I'm not staying home alone. Great, get dressed and grab your walkie-talkies. We might need them in case we lose track of each other. But we're not going too, are we? Of course not. It's just a precaution. <sighs> okay, I'll get the walkie-talkie. Yes! Finally, we can use them. I'm going to put on something warm. Oh, shit. Wait, did it? Oh. Okay, he did magically put on something warm. Oh, no. No, oh, there's downstairs, my god. I have the walkie talkies. Great, let's go to the pier. I miss mom and dad. Where are they? Oh, that's a freaky light. Why is the crow still here? The crows are over here now. Oh. What in the world is that? Impossible to see anything from here. I'm taking the boat to the other shore. We'll have to walk around the lake on foot. I have a very bad feeling about this, Tina. Do you think I'm enjoying this? Of course you are. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it when you get bossy like that. Why does everything have to be done your way? Well, I don't like dragging along a whining, crying baby either. So we both have to put up, put up with it. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes you're not such a cry baby. <laughs> what is that in the water? What now? There's something floating in the water. Thank you, Tina! Looks like a bag. It's Veronica's bag. Oh shit. Are are you sure? Yeah. See, it has Pierre's the cat on, the cat's face on it. It's hers. Did she drop it? We'll never reach from here. Find me something long to get it with. This? Did you find something? Oh. Okay, apparently not. I have to find something long. Wait, is there something over here? Oh, wait, we can use the pruner on the tree branch. Yes. Smart. Boom. This will do. Yes. Yes. Finally. Here you go, Tina. Oh, she did. Are you okay? It's, it's very cold. Something's wrapped around my leg. I can't get out. <gasps> what do I do? Hey, hey, calm down. Everything will be fine. Come on, throw me something to hold on to. Shit, the rope. I better tie the rope somewhere. Shit, we don't have time. There we go. There we go. Now go find help. Miss Jordan is awake. I saw the light in the window. Oh shit. Come on, go. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Just hurry up, okay? Here, take one of the walkie talkies. That way I know you'll be okay. Thank you. Oh, we gotta hurry. Find help. Oh yeah, shit. How do I get to her, though? Do I have to go through the house and then out? Maybe? Mother aren't yuck. 
Oh, keys are right there. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I didn't see that. Lol. It's fine. There we go. To the street. La 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 la. Tina, are you still there? Yes, I'm freezing though. Have you found help? I'm on it. What? What the hell? I hope that's not sparkles. Yeah, I agree. Sparkle. Hello? We need help. Oh shit. Oliver! What are you doing here? Is everything alright? Miss Jordan, I need help. Our babysitter was staying with us, but she left us. We went looking for her. And? Okay, okay, breathe. Come on in. It's cold outside. Oh my god, hello. Okay, slow down. What happened? Tina fell into the lake of the pier. Oh my god, is she okay? No, that's why I'm fucking on the door. <laughs> yeah, but she can't get out of the water. She needs help. And where are your parents? They're out. They left us with the babysitter, but they abandoned us. She abandoned us. Okay, I'll run to the pier to help. Your sister. Okay. You stay here and attend Thomas in case he needs anything. You know he requires special attention. He's in his room. Keep an eye on him, will you? I'll be right back. What the hell was that power outbreak? And then, like, it, it came, and then it was, like, voices, and then it was, like, your sister. And she just continued, like, nothing happened. Thomas's room. What's oh, upstairs? Can I snoop? Oh. Can I call someone? I like the bubblegum color. So original. Okay, Thomas. Hello, Thomas? Oh, he's dying. Oliver! What are you doing here? Tina's in trouble. Your mom went to help her. Really? I thought mom was taking a bath upstairs. Sorry, sometimes my medication makes me confused. Is Tina okay? She fell in the lake and can't get out. Seriously? <laughs> wow! Well, don't worry, your mom is very strong. She'll pull her out of the water. Come on, she'll be fine. I swear though, I thought mom was chilling in the bathroom. I hate this medication. How do you feel? Physically or mentally? Mentally. Well, it's only been two months since dad died. It's been hard and mom makes me go to therapy with a super boring lady. Physically. I can't take two steps without gasping for air. Other than that, I feel wonderful. I wouldn't call that wonderful, but that's me. Can I ask you something that I never asked you before? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Of course. Ask what? You never told me about how your father died. I don't know. Mom never talks about it. One day you got a call from the doctor and suddenly he stopped talking to us. He spent the rest of his days crying and sleeping. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm sure he loved you very much. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know. He changed a lot. Without your illness. Are you going to die soon? I'd be very lonely. You don't ask that. Oh my god. You're my best friend at school. Yeah, no idea. Mom always makes plans for the future. But I think she does it just to cheer me up. Her words are happy, but her face is sad. 
but I don't care too much about it. I'm not afraid of dying. Really? I'll go back to the same dark, tranquil place where I was before I was born. I like that idea. Wow. Why is the cr Why is the terminally ill kid so deep? Anyway, let's stop talking about sad things. Look, I want to show you something. It's super cool, Oliver. These kids are gonna die. Oh no. I found it in my mom's closet. I think she used it to talk to dad. Come on, do you want to contact? Who do you want to contact? There are a lot of people I want to talk to. Let's go. All in. I want to contact... <gasps> Miss Marquez, my old nanny. Miss Marquez. She lived in this house before you moved in. She was great. She had one eye missing and wore an eye patch like a pirate. Oh, great. One day she suddenly disappeared. Mom told us she went to live on her family's farm in Colorado. Bettina says she saw an ambulance and a police. We think something har horrible happened to her. Yeah. Mothers lie, you know. <laughs> They do it to protect us, but they lie. We are going to contact your old babysitter. If she died in this house, her presence will be super strong. Thomas, do you really want to do that? It'll be super cool, you'll see. I don't know. Come on, this is fun. Here, put your hand on this triangle thing. It's called a planchette. Now I'll add my hand, that way we join our energies, like E.T. Now close your eyes. Do you have them closed? Yep. Good. Now focus your old babysitter's image. I found this picture of her in my father's office. Do you think it might help? Are you kidding? It will help me a lot. Let me see. It's super cool. She really look like, looks like a pirate. Wait, is there a kissing mark on the picture? <gasps> There's a kissing mark on the picture. This picture will attract her spirit. Come on, put it next to the board. Let's start. I don't know if I like this. Relax, we can stop whatever we want. We simply say goodbye to the spirit and she'll leave without a trace. Ready? Uh, what the hell? You're moving it. It's not me, it's your nanny spirit. What does it spell out? What? What? Bro. Um. Do you have a leak? The bathroom is right above us. Maybe mom left the tap running. Don't get up. I'm going to take a look. Oh, we're gonna die. Wait here. Oh no, it's the nanny probably. Oh god. Are you there? That's 
Miss Jordan is not the real Miss Jordan. Miss Jordan is dead. There's blood everywhere. Tina, you hear me? I have to go through here quickly. What do I do with Thomas though? I can't just leave the dying kid alone, can I? Oh shit, Oliver, what is it? I heard you screaming. Well, uh, um, um, Thomas, you see, uh, I know you lost your dad and everything, but hey, think positive. Um, stay there. Don't go upstairs, okay? Why? What happened? Was it an open tap? Listen to me. I have to go and find Tina. You stay here and call the police. Do what I tell you. The, the police? Because of an open tap? Just do it and tell them to come fast. But all of our... Oh shit, we're leaving him alone. What's the police phone number? Oh my god. Bruh, he don't know the phone number. Sparky! Oh no. Jordan double taking Tina into the woods? But why? I have to go find her. Oh no. Oh no. Bruh. Tina? Veronica. My flashlight. Jesus Christ! Easy, easy! If I get closer, it will bite me. Toy truck? Here, have fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. The toy truck saves the day. Take the flashlight. Oh no. Is everybody dead? T Tina? Thank goodness I found you. Are you okay? Thought I lost you forever. Come with me, Oliver. Oh no, that is not Tina, is it? Don't tell me that's a double as well. Where are you going? Tina? Battery is very low. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what was that? I don't want to know. Just keep on moving, Oliver. Tina, where are you? <laughs> oh no, this is bad. Veronica, oh my god. What is happening? Oh no. 
Well, we found the old babysitter. Ah, uh, my little Oliver. Time for bed. May I sing you a lullaby? Oh shit! The parents, mommy, daddy. Don't worry, we'll find them. Even if you have to turn the world upside down. Detective Taylor. I've never seen anything like this. Two children kidnapped, the neighbor brutally murdered in her bathtub, the babysitter missing. What the hell happened here tonight? Detective, we found Veronica Turner, the babysitter in the woods. She's dead. Oh shit. Also murdered? seem so. Damn it. There's something else, but you better see it with your own eyes. Oh no. We're the agent now. God. Poor girl. Look at her wounds. It looks like a wild animal attack. A wild... Wait. Ugh, there we go. A wild animal does murder people in a bathtub or kidnap children though. If you think that's strange, you haven't seen it all yet. Take a look at the rock. What am I supposed to see here? Agent, point the light at the painting. the hell Oh no <gasps> Was that the game? What? I want the floor. Poor Oliver or Tina. We him we might never know what happened to them. But don't fret. Something tells me Detective Taylor won't rest until she finds an answer. For now, it's a secret between the two siblings and the creature of the forest. Thank you very much for enjoying this new chapter of Midnight Scenes with us. Remember to shut your windows and lock your doors tight before bed. Creatures of the night are lurking. Good night and sweet dreams. Th thank you. Oh my god. You're kidding me? That was so good. Are you joking with me? That was such a good game.